Hello Cancer, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the 16th of November to the 22nd of November. Thank you to all my current subscribers, all the views. Welcome to my channel. Welcome cross watchers. Cross watchers are people who view their loved ones videos to try and figure them out or a situation. So there's no way this can connect with everybody out there. Um, all the cancers and I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time so if you subscribe and you hit the bell icon wherever you are at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time your phone will beep if it's up. Alright so here we go I'm going to start with the Earth Wisdom deck for you Cancer and the first one today is Self Acceptance number 9. So this talks about getting rid of the things about yourself that you don't like and accepting the things you don't want to get rid of but learn to like about yourself. So just coming to terms with the things that you have, have been going through life that you don't like about yourselves. Find the strength in you to like those things. So the next one is Divine Connection. This is 8. So that first one was 9. So this talks about transformation, transformation, aligning with your soul. There's a chakra bracelet in the middle of the white lotus flower there that she's holding. I see a lot of love vibration aligning there. So this has to do with accepting the things about yourself you may not like. And this has to do with accepting that the divine loves you. And they hold you in high regard and they are here for your best, your highest good. So they want you to transform knowing that they are loving you, they are supporting you, and you can do what you want to do. You totally have everything with you to do that. So the next one for you is Divine Light 27. So this would be 9. So you have 989 nine if that means anything. So to me this is your soul transforming, which we have that right here. This is St. John's Ward, I think, so if you're having trouble sleeping, you're going towards your light. You're aligning more with your purpose and your light is what this card says. Cancer, I see the harp in there, which has to do with soul transformation. So you have the light here, and you're trying to find the little pieces of light to put in you that make you feel good. And then you're aligning your chakras here, and then you're going whole into your light more which is going to make you shine brighter. And I, I know people get concerned sometimes when I say you're going into the light. It, I have a trio of cards that would mean you were going to heaven and they hardly ever come out. But there's three to confirm it if I ever get them. And I do say so if they come out. And this is not them. So you're fine. The light is just your light that you're going to shine while you're here on earth. And what you're going towards that's going to make you happy. Because it's all about you being happy down here and learning your lessons and figuring out. Of course, you're not happy when you're learning some lessons. Like, this is probably kind of hard. But it is a, it's going for your highest good because it's a bright card. So just try to keep that in mind. That everything is for your highest good. And sometimes it is hard. Alright, so the first one we have for you of the Cat Wisdom Deck Cancer is... Five of Earth. And you know what? This has been coming out for so many signs. It is just totally amazing how a lot is coming out for people changing their vibration and missing people or feeling left out. So the next one would be Ace of Earth, which is abundance. This is good. This could be abundance in family because it's a tree. And I see roots and branches, but it could be abundance in other things as well. So then you have Earth Kitten. Earth Kitten is somebody, somebody or something new coming into your life. So three of Earth is co-workers. Something to do with co-workers. So I don't know if a co-worker is going to help you, it looks like. It looks like somebody's offering you something. Either a hand up with a job or a new car, something like that. So Five of Fire talks about people bickering, not getting along. People are arguing. It looks like co-workers because it came out after the work card. So then you have the moon, which is Pisces placement, which you means secrets that weren't known coming out into the open. So this could be why everyone's fighting, I guess, because the secret's coming out. So Fire King talks about pride and ego. This could be a Leo around you because that always makes me think of Leo, the pride and ego. 
So then you have the sun. This also could be Leo. It's usually Cancer, you, but it always makes me think of Cancer and Leo. So it could be, this could be cuspers, I guess is why I think of that. It could be somebody who was born on a cusp, which is three days when the signs change. But that's happiness. So your pride and ego, something comes out, your pride and ego seems to be able to make, it's going to make you happy. So I don't know if it's good news coming out. It must be. And then you have Ten of Fire. So Ten of Fire, again, is a little bit of drama around you. Some people bring in drama. Excuse me. And then the world. So this is after the drama. You start looking within and you start thinking how you want your life to be and how you want your life to change is what I feel. So Six of Earth. You have generosity. Either you're offering generosity or somebody's offering generosity to you. But there's generosity somewhere around you. So the tower. So the tower is going to fall. So maybe somebody who's offering generosity to you is going to take it away is what could happen. I'm not really sure, but that's what could happen. So the chariot. So this means you're going to travel. You're going to go in a new direction. Could be communication. Seven of sky is somebody doing something behind your back, Cancer, when you're not looking. And it's only one person. So you're looking over here and somebody's taken from you. Could be time, could be anything. So this is the lovers. This could be Gemini placement around you. So maybe this is what's being taken. I'm not really sure. It's weird that came out the lovers. So then this came out the six of fire. So this is selfish. This is my selfish card. This tells me that it looks like a lover that is being selfish to you. It looks like they take to a lot of people over here. They take a lot of people and kind of don't even acknowledge it, it looks like. So this one is Sky Queen. Sky Queen is somebody watching you. Being nosy. That's weird. So, all right, I'm going to shuffle the Tarot Illuminati for you. Cancer. And I already shuffle them all. I just do it again when I turn the camera on. So the first one of Tarot Illuminati is Ace of Pentacles. This is good. This is stability with coins. So Five of Wands. This is people bickering and arguing. Jealousy. So this is stability. Let me look at this again. And then you had this. And then you had this. So why is somebody staring at you? And then you have the coins stability and then the stress so I feel like somebody's watching you to see your coins or your stability or something and then it causes an argument people are fighting so four cups so you somebody's offering you love but you don't see it because you're focusing on another love are you yeah and then we have seven of swords wow cancer so this is people being sneaky around you. You got a lot of people being sneaky around you, Cancer. So Prince of Pentacles is somebody coming in to offer an apology probably or offer something. Somebody new is coming in to offer something to you. So the star card could be Aquarius placement, but that's usually wish fulfillment. The Hermit. So the Hermit could be Virgo placement. That could be you would draw if you get your wish fulfillment and you kind of go solo and clarity comes to you and you just withdraw. And then here we have King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is somebody who's kind of a show off to me, somebody who likes to fluff themselves out and then go um, say, look what I got, look at me, look at this is what I'm getting. So the next one is the moon, which could be Pisces placement. And I think you had it twice, didn't you? You did have the moon up here. I'm almost positive. Yep, you did. So you have the moon twice. So the moon usually means that something is going to be known to you. Something that has been hidden from you is getting ready to be exposed to you. Cancer. And then you have five of cups. So after that happens, it seems like you're going to be pretty sad. You're going to be like, you're going to feel sad. And then we have the hero font, which could be marriage, divorce, school, hospital. 
and then we have the tower. So something's going to fall, I feel, concerning a marriage, possibly. And Six of Swords would be somebody moving away. So I feel like there's something involved in a marriage. And look at that, we have Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is usually an ending. So we have Six of Wands, somebody moves away, and Ten of Wands where it's a, a final final thing where it's over is what I'm seeing there. Wow. So that's pretty heavy. So let me look at the Soul's Journey lesson cards. So the first one for you, Cancer, is service. I feel good when I can help others. So there's something about you, a job, I guess, that you feel good going to work. With everything going on right now, if you throw yourself into work, I feel like you're going to get through it. So the next one is friendship. I understand that a friend in my life is in my life for a reason. So this is good. You understand that everything happens for a reason and there's somebody you feel like you, um, I don't know if you feel like you can be a service to them or they can be a service to you is what I'm feeling. I feel like there's some sort of connection, help, or something with a friendship. So the next one for you is pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So the pride did come out twice. In Cancer, you do have a lot of pride. Most of you do. But you could be dealing with a Leo because the pride came out twice. So if that applies, it might not apply to everybody. But that's what I'm seeing that, um, yeah, service, friendship, and pride. Wow, so something's going on. It's pretty heavy reading. But it's all going for your higher good is what you need to remember. And you're supported by the divine. So just remember you're being supported and it's for your highest good. So the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck is gliding through the currents, 13. With a different approach you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, and behavior into the flow will help your dreams take flight. This is the, I want to say manta ray, because they swim with their mouths open. Well, the manta ray is the one that buries in the sand. I can't remember manta ray. What is it? It's kind of my brain, too, after I'm done, probably. So, 40, we discover your zeal. This is the um, flame angelfish, and it talks about passion. Talks about pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. So something's going to inspire you, I feel. It's going to be almost like a flame angel fish. I mean, that says a lot right there, doesn't it? It's angel and then the flame in the same name. So... Yeah, I do see you're going towards your happiness more. And just go with the flow when you don't know what to do. The 13 going through the currents, just go with the flow when you're confused. And when you know what to do, you'll do it. So the first angel and ancestor one for you, Cancer, is drum, dream and journey. This is pretty powerful to me. Because drums are used all over the world as a beat to help people go into trance, to help people meditate. Um, spiritual ceremonies, religious ceremonies, so lots of intuition, spirituality with the drum. I mean, you are, this tells me you're going, changing to your vibration in the beat of your own drum, if that makes sense to you. So the next one in your last card for your reading, Direction Guardian. Wow. So choose your path. I do feel like something is changing and your life is changing. And I know it might be a little scary and overwhelming, but it is for your highest good, Cancer, is what I'm seeing. And this always makes me think of, um, it refers to Ezekiel, the prophet Ezekiel, who saw the angel with four faces. And he's the only prophet who ever saw an angel, anyone who ever saw an angel with four faces. So it talks about... You have the direction, and the angels are guiding you to go in the direction that you want to go in. Oh my gosh, that is weird. I swear I just saw somebody out of the corner of my eye. That is amazing. So, okay, um, yeah, you can go in what direction you want to go in is what that says. You're going to have opportunities, and you're more aligning with your soul and your purpose. So just be aware. It might be a little hard, but you're going to be happy, and it's for your highest good. 
So thank you so much, Cancer, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Cancer.